Now, welcome back. My name is Vivaso Maina. As always, my guest here is media commentator, political analyst, Shaban Natembea Kelvin. One man from Emanuria village somewhere in Kakamega, maybe Kakamega Forest. Not really. No, not really. <laughs> no, we're talking issues. <laughs> the issue of can independent candidates, the likes of Kabogo, the likes of Peter Kenneth, the likes of Kinudia Mbogwa. All of a sudden, you know, they were beaten fairly and squarely during primaries. And all of a sudden, they're saying, you know, they're going to beat the incumbents. I don't know how. And of course, NASA, they have threatened to boycott August 8th elections if IBC verifies the elections. Natembea, yes. let's start with independent candidates. Mm. Then we finish with NASA boycott, yep. threat the independent candidates. All of a sudden, Kabogo, do you say, you know, Kabogo said like he was, you know, he was rigged out 300,000 votes. This man is joking. He was beaten. He was beaten. And all of a sudden he says he's going to go as independent. Uh -huh. And he'll beat, you know, he'll beat Waititu. Is he joking? Maybe it is possible. It is possible. It is possible? He can also trounce one, one Waititu. <laughs> if he does his assignment well. It's a joke. No, he has a chance. From 60,000. No, in to politics, remember in politics, wherever there is a politics or there is campaign or there is even uh, politics participation, you're bound to lose or to win. So we cannot now assume that since he was defeated in the nomination, so he has no chance to, to defeat Waititu. No, I he see, has a good I see a what Bogo, I see what Bogo is a man who has a lot of money, a lot of money to waste. Yeah, he has a money. A lot of money to waste. That's the reason why he's coming back. But no. he was beaten, he's not going to win anything. I remember, if I'm not wrong, in the last show, I, I did tell you something very interesting. That most of these people who are calling themselves independent candidates, in fact, they are not independent at all. Because they participated in party nominations and then they were trounced. So they have come back as the rejects. So let us not try to romantize this issue. Oh, independent whatsoever. No. Only a few people, the likes of Miguna Miguna, who had shown an interest earlier that they would go as what? As independent and candidates, but the rest, these are just the reject. Wanjiko rejected them. Although we should not downplay this, uh, their decision, because there are some of the way, there are some of them who are saying that the nominations were so bungled. There was no transparency during the party nominations. So I think we should also give them an ear to try to, to hear what they are saying. Maybe. But it will be, why am I saying it will be very hard? Because it means you are going to campaign not only against one individual, but against the entire party. And it's very expensive to campaign against a party. Maybe it's true. Maybe the, the primaries were not as transparent as they would, they would have to be. Yep. But look here, Kabogo was, you know, he was beaten by almost 300,000. You know, range, a range of 300,000. Even if, you know, there was no transparency, this guy, you know, he lost fairly. But watching him in, in one of the local stations, he said that actually he did not concede the defeat because there was no fairness in the nominations. He said there are some perpetrators behind his failure. And that's why he, he had decided to come back as an independent. But remember, here, these people, we cannot call them independent. Because in politics, when even we decide to borrow something from the European countries, in politics you must come up with the ideologies and the philosophies. But these people, remember, they were in the, in the other political parties. Somebody beat them. So they have come back. In other words, I can say, these are the people who are confused. These are the people who had known the, the software of ideological and philosophical. So therefore, we should not give them a chance. But let's consider also the percentage of people who, who participated in the nomination. Mm. Some are saying it was about 30% <coughs> of all the registered voters. Yeah. But you can remember what happened in the Jubilee. Du during the Jubilee primary fiasco, what happened? The president came out clearly in the national TVs and he said what? They were underprepared. Under in other words, he assumed those who had come to vote in the nominations, were uh, th their percentage was as equal as those who were expected to participate in the national yeah. elections, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So sure. we should not now try to, to ignore things here. Let's now, try to see leave it in Kabogo. two ways. Leave Kabogo. You know, let's go to Kisumu and Homa Bay, Ojamong, and Otuoma, Paul Otuoma. You know, ODM officials, you know, I think it's the other day, they said, you know, look, 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 look here, it, as ODM officials, you know, would not, would not endorse Ojamong. And he never won, Ojamong never won. 
and he's tall. He's tall from Teso, from Teso, and all of a sudden people are saying, we are going to show him dust come August 8th, and we're going to elect Otuma as independent candidate. Is that, going, is that going to happen? It can happen because I think this is where ODM got it wrong. ODM, it has not swept its house. Its house is full of rats. Then it comes out and tells us that we are ready to handle your issue as a nation, 40 million Kenyans. Because if really there was, um, there was some shenanigans in the nominations in the Busia County, I did not see the honkers of ODM coming back and addressing that issue. In fact, when it was reported that there was some rigging in the nominations, what the, the Board of, uh, of Elections said, it said that they had postponed their election, not postponed, they had said that they would redo it, isn't it? Yeah. But then up to date, a, all of a sudden, they came out with the report and said that now Otoma, not Otoma, Ojamon will be the one to fly the flag of the ODM. When one Otoma had already decided to vote as an independent candidate. So this tells me things are not well in the ODM as a party. Raila Amolo Odinga must come out and solve the issues because recently we have we have seen a lot of even uh, party leaders from Busia County who have said what they will support the campaigns of one Otoma because they sense things were not done fairly on him so here Raila should not get to, to the deep slumber yeah. he should come back he should get back there call a meeting and address the leaders of the ODM in Busia County do you so think as to put things in order do you think Ojamang has been you know like um you know, a heavy, he's a heavy, you know, he's a, a, a heavyweight in ODM. Perhaps he's a financier of ODM. That's why Baba, you know, Baba can will not wake up one day and say, look, we're going to give certificate to Otoma. Otoma, he's a lightweight. He's only a fool who would buy the ideas that in this country we normally have the credible nominations. I've been told, telling you in some of these shows that the political parties, these are the shopping basket of the individuals. So these the leaders of these political parties, they decide who should be given the flag and who should not be given. So trying to consider the relationship between one Ojamong and Raila, these people, they have a very close relationship. If I'm not wrong, my diary tells me that Ojamong used to be an, a personal assistant of Raila uh, since 1992, I think, up to 2002. So it means these people have been very close. And I think Raila, Raila was the one who introduced Ojamong into politics in other words he has been holding his hand up to where we are now he cannot really let him get out because you see this election going to is going to determine a lot a lot of like there are some politicians who are busy <coughs> writing their own political obituaries That's so right. you must come up with a way to retain some of these people especially people whom you think they really assist you, either financially or even politically. And that's why Raila will not now let Ojamong to be defeated, if so to say. But he has now to come back and reorganize his, order, his house as far as Busia County and is campaign concerned. For Jamong. Now let's go to Kisumu. Enyang Nyongo. You know, Enyang Nyongo, people say he was beaten fairly and squarely you know, by one Rasanga. It's not Rasanga, mm -hmm. it's Ranguma. Okay. Are you saying Ranguma is going to wake up on August 8th jobless? Yeah, it depends on how they will handle their homework. It depends. Because I think anybody will have, if really Nyango will going to be given the blessing by one Raila Mola Odinga, because this person now, he calls himself in his book, when you go through his book that has been authored by a Nigerian mm -hmm. writer, he calls himself an enigma of Kenyan politics. So this, this tells that he knows on how to play his political cards. So if anybody coming from the strongholds of opposition has the blessings of Raila, believe me or not, this person will be voted in. Mm -hmm. Are you together? No, let's, let, 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 let's leave that. No, let's go to, you know, all of a sudden Nasser have said, you know, Nasser went to, to high court the other day, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, court ruled that, um, you know, the, 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 the tally, and the announcement of the presidential elections, the, the results, is final at constituency level. Mm. And IBC <coughs> has also gone to appeal court. It has appealed, you know, that, you know, that, that, that ruling. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the NASA, NASA is saying that if court rules in favor of, NAS, of IBC, they're going to call mass action and maybe perhaps boycott elections. What's the way forward? I think what we need to do, because in the olden dispensation, new, the olden dispensation is whereby it's like all the government agencies, they used to work in a link. 
But in the new dispensation, there is a clear boundary among what? Among all the government institutions. Here I talk about the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. Mm. So each institution should respect the decision of another institution. Because we cannot let now the judiciary and the executive to share the bed. Here it means now the decisions that the, 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 that the judiciary has made, it should be respected. If it says, if it says that now the presidential elections should be announced at the constituency level, okay, let's go with it. But also the IBC has its right to appeal that because from the explanation that they are trying to give is that in case maybe there will be some, some shenanigans, they'll be questionable. And that's why they would like it to be announced at the bombers, or not at the bombers, at the Catholic University. I think that's yeah. where that's where it will be. It's that's headquarters. Where it, the it? Will be. Yep. So I think this narrative we should not politicize it. Let us try to look it in two ways. But this one asked me. Also, this one it creates another question: Is that how comes the IBC it has decided now to appeal this one when it is too late? I think IBC should be busy clearing are you the, saying, the registers are you instead saying, of now involving in these small issues. Are you saying IBC are in bed together with you know with Jubilee government? I'm not saying so. But what I'm trying to say is that the line of boundary should be cleared and should be drawn whereby the decisions of the judiciary should be respected. The decisions of the IBC also at the government should agency be should be respected. And also the, the decision of the executive should be respected. But when now we cannot, because there is a rule of law, according to the Kenyan constitution. So we has have to respect NASA, one another. Has NASA, you know, sensed, you know, you know, sensed defeat in the August polls? You know, why, why, why are they threatening to call mass action if... If, called, if Court of Appeal rules in favor of IBC. <laughs> you see, uh, social media is awash with the desperate defenders of the Jubilee who are trying to say that NASA has sensed a defeat and that's why it has turned to a crying baby. It's crying. Because, because me, I don't, I don't say... Crying. Because if, it's see, true. if they decide, okay, I would advise Jubilee this way, if I were its strategist, I would advise them this way, that they should let the decisions of the judiciary to be respected. Because I don't see a reason. I don't see a reason if we let these announcements to be announced at the constituency level. Because if IBC says there will be an, a problem, okay, do you want to tell me the clerks who will be at those constituency level, they will be employed by who? They're also the commission of the IBC. But they can be bought. And re, not they can be, be bribed. If, if they will be bought, this tells me that the IBC is corrupt to the core. It has to come out clear and it trains its people to depend on the integrity because this nation is falling apart for lacking what? Integrity. Are you supporting that idea that, you know, the, the results at the constituency level are final? N not really. What I'm trying to say, IBC should say that what it's saying with a good will. But it should not say that one with a conflict of interest. That's where now we are getting it wrong. Mm -hmm. We consider even its tones. It has to come. You remember uh, the IBC, it has a very good or a vital responsibility to play as far as the forthcoming elections are concerned. So it should, you know, the moment it tries now to, to go against what the oppositions are saying or what even the court is saying, this tells me they could be having some shenanigans in the August polls. So they should be clear and honest. What do they, what do they think it's good for us to announce it at the headquarter level rather than where? announcing it where at the constituency level mm -hmm. let them be honest with that yeah uh, sure <clears throat> now let's face it if nasa is beaten by jubilee august 8th are they going to accept the results is raila amolo dinga going to you know to to concede he will have to concede who is he but he's, he's a kenyan but he has said he's gonna t he's gonna win okay you see he's not going to lose <laughs> You see, if you have ever happened to, to participate in any game, you must be always optimistic that I'm going to win. And if you are not, if you don't have that op optimistic, uh, optimistic values, then you should even quit. So whoever is in this race, my friend, has to be optimistic that I will win. If I will lose, that will just because be God see. forbid. But these people, they go there with one mentality, that I'm there to become the next tenant of the state house. What if Jubilee is beaten? Are they going to concede? Why not? The country does not belong to Jubilee. The country belongs to 40 million Kenyans. But they, have, they have the machinery. Which machinery? Machinery. We, we remember Kenyans are the employers of even the so-called machinery. 
So we have a lot of say. According to the Kenyan Constitution, Chapter 1, it gives a lot of power to the Mwanaichi. Mm -hmm. Live outside those political conglomerations or those the so-called po political uh, coalitions. Now, finally, finally, let, now, before we finish, yep. you know, I've remembered something. Mm -hmm. <coughs> In uh, Starehe, Nairobi, Starehe constituency, yeah. you know, one Jaguar, is called Jaguar, musician. Yeah. Jaguar is facing Steve Mbogo of ODM. Yep. You know, we have Boniface Mwangi, mm -hmm. independent candidate. How is it, uh, it going to be? Yeah, I think just a correction. What the, name that, the names that are being found in the national ID, Jaguar is being called Charles Kanye. Charles so, Kanye? Jaguar, see, yeah, I can like see, that. I can see an interesting participation. Whereby it's like we have a crop of youths, isn't it? Yeah. Whereby you have talked about one Jaguar, then Steve who else? Mboko. Steve Mbogo, who else? A man of show off. Also Bonnie, uh, the, the famous activist, yes. isn't it? Yes. I think this one will be going to be a very good race, as I've told you. But it, it depends. Rem if these people remember, they have one thing in common. All of them are what? All of them are, are youth. youths. So that one is going to be a very tight race. Because now if you appeal to the voters as a youth, all of them, they have the same, they have the same, same value. So now it depends with who is going now to solidize votes but in, the right, here. in the way that Wanjiko will be excited. What, can, what can Jaguar do? He's only a musician. Yeah, he's a, he's a musician. What's the Bonifaz problem Mongi, with that? Mongi has been helping, you know, people in Nairobi especially. Activism. Yeah, that's fighting true, but for I rights. I think if I'm not wrong, uh, one Charles Kanye has ever worked in the Ministry of Nakada. So I think he has acquired a lot of experience. He did nothing. He understands he how, the, how the governance, do? how we should, how we should, how we should employ the good governance. So I think that one gives him an upper hand as compared to the others. But because he did the nothing. What did he do? What did he do? No, I, unless we get back to the record, to the, the office of the Nakada and see what he did. But, but you can I, see what Boniface Mongi has done. I think he has done nothing. He has done a lot. In street, that's not, no, that's not solving rights. issues. He's no, he was looking for his political mileage. Sometimes let's differentiate. People who are working for the, for the interest of Kenyans are those who are working for the interest of themselves. I think uh, one Boni was only looking for political mileage. And that's why even before a year is ending, now he has come out to say what? I will also be, be vying as MP. I think he was looking for that opportunity. So he's just an opportunist. But look here, Jago has been crying on TV like a baby. Not like a baby, it was his right. Unless you have never been in this business of politics. But if you have ever been in this business of politics, you will know that it pains to lose. And especially to lose what you think belongs to you. And not only that, I remember in the last week I told you that it's only politics. That's the organization that pays well. So you can imagine to miss uh, that salary of over 500,000 inclusive of the allowances. You see, it's a lot of money, so it pains. I would also cry <coughs> if I were him. <laughs> So are you together? So right. I think Jaguar has a good chance, a good chance to trounce the rest. Let's leave that at that. Many issues to talk about, but we have to go. We have to end the show. We don't have time. That has been Shaban Natembe, one man from Emanuria village, somewhere around, somewhere near Kakamega. Kakamega Forest, I don't know. I have had people saying that. My name is Giva Somaina. And until next time, it's bye-bye for now.